Hi guys, so recently one of my friends gave us a whole bunch of apples from her yard and so I've been using them in a lot of recipes and today I want to share with you an apple cobbler recipe that I actually got from my mother-in-law. So for starters you're going to need a 9 by 13 pan ungreased and you want to pour in your apples cover that and then we have sugar and cinnamon mix but we are actually going to be using stevia to make this recipe a little bit healthier for you because it calls for quite a bit of sugar in this recipe so what you want to do is just sprinkle that over the apples like so Okay, there we go. And in a large mixing bowl, you want to take two large eggs. Your melted butter. Your all-purpose flour. baking powder and your salt and again we are using stevia and then for the other cup it was two cups of sugar so we're using one cup stevia and actually one cup um, of brown sugar you want to get that all mixed up until it resembles more of like a, a crumb And you will be spreading it over that ap apple mixture in your 9 by 13 pan. Now I've got my oven already preheating right now. You want to have it preheating to 350. You're going to break bake this between 45 and 55 minutes. And for the apples, you want to make sure that they are peeled and cored and then cut into about quarter inch slices. So as you can see, this is starting to resemble more of a crumbly mixture. Just make sure I get all that flour mixed in very well here. Some stuff stuck at the bottom of the bowl. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and spread that out over my apples. Put that in there. Okay. I have heard that this tastes amazing with some vanilla ice cream on top or on the side once it's all baked and warmed. Scoop some of that off of the spoon there. Okay. We're gonna go put this in the oven 45 to 55 minutes like I said we will come back check it and see how it looks okay so the timer just went off we're gonna pull this out there you go easy easy apple cobbler hope you like the video look for the recipe and we'll see you next time